Hello, my darlings. Welcome to another one of our tarot readings. This is going to be a collective tarot reading where we're just going to see what wants to show up for the collective in regards to your person, their thoughts, feelings, the situation, the environment, their state of mind and everything else that might be connected to your questions around your person. So we're just going to do like an overall Celtic spread to see the heart of the matter, the obstacle, what's the unconscious, conscious influence, past, present influence, um, future orientation or their perceived outcome of your situation. Um, and yeah, the environment, their hopes and fears and all that. So we're basically going to be using just a spread, a classic tarot spread for this tarot reading today. Thank you all for tuning in to this reading. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet to this amazing channel. And also, if you guys want to book a personal tarot reading with me, the Etsy shop is linked down below. So let's get into this. And we're going to be using the Animal Totem Tarot over here. So let's see what wants to show up. As I'm shuffling, um, you can keep your person in your mind or just, you know, have um, a clear awareness of who you're asking about, right? So let's get into this. Let's see what wants to show up today for the collective. So calling through the energy right now, opening up the space for the reading. So let's get into this. So first of all, we're going to look into the heart of the matter for you. So let's see what wants to show up. So we have the Ace of Swords. Amazing. So your person feels like they want a fresh start in this connection, especially in communication, especially when it comes to how you communicate with each other, how they think about this connection and how they think about you. So they want like a new fresh start for this relationship. They might be already feeling this, you know, they might have been already working on this, even trying to kind of manifest this into existence for the two of you. But overall, yeah, this feels like fresh start, fresh new energy. Also, like wanting to like nourish themselves with this connection with the, you know, the panda, like eating that little bamboo stick, you know, it just feels like they want to nourish themselves with this relationship right now or that communicating to you is nourishment itself. It feels like your person is currently like waiting for something to happen for them to be able to communicate with you. So it almost feels like with the panda here, you know, like they're going about their daily life, like eating their little stick, <laughs> just, you know, kind of chilling out and going about their day, making sure they're taking care of the basics in their day. And the communication or the thing that they want to talk about is kind of waiting there for the right time. So there feels like there's there's almost like this waiting for the right time for them to be able to say some things to you here. But these things that they do want to say to you, they are super important. You know, they're kept on this, you know, this pedestal, almost like an award, you know, this sword, this clarity, maybe a breakthrough that your person had or has had. It's kept on this little pedestal and it's waiting for the right time to be communicated. And while they're, you know, waiting, they're kind of just living life, going about their day. It doesn't feel like your person is stressing too much about what needs to be said. They're just waiting for the right time. Okay, so let's see. What is the obstacle? Let's see what's the obstacle for the collective. Okay, so the obstacle is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, the obstacle for your person is not learning life lessons, right? So, um, like, yeah, not, not flowing with the river of life, fro th throwing, <laughs> not um, moving um, and learning what they need to learn. So I feel like the obstacle here is for your person to have to learn the same lesson over and over and over again. There could be a repetition of certain patterns going on in your relationship as well. You could resonate with some of this, even it could be a mirroring energy in your life also. So yeah, this to me definitely feels like there's a certain like quality of not learning lessons or having to learn one type of lesson over and over and over again, being in the same pattern over and over and over again, just so that lesson is learned, just that that lesson is um 
perceived, you know, in themselves, in their reality. I'm just going to put it here like this so that you can, you know, see it more clearly. So let's see now, uh, what is the conscious influence of this connection? What uh, does your person perceive to be the conscious influence upon this relationship? So we have the two of pentacles, right? So, hmm. Okay, so it's the conscious influence here to me feels like they are observing the situation. The conscious influence from their perspective is that they're trying to find balance with you, but at the same time, like they're just trying to observe what type of balance they need to get into with you here. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, like, because because we have like these two pentacles here, and the energy is quite different from what you would usually find in the two of pentacles. There is this energy of finding balance, but it's a feeling of knowing that you guys want to manifest the same thing, yet at the same time, your person is showing up as a bit distant, as a bit reserved, you know, with the ego, like being above it all, it feels like they're trying to have higher understanding higher wisdom about what is going on in this relationship or you know in your life even they're trying to kind of have a higher perspective here and they might come through as a bit cold distant um uninvolved even you know kind of trying to figure out this balance but you know this eagle this is its nest the the two of pentacles here it's the nest of the eagle so it just, you know, it just, again, it feels like to me, like this eagle is kind of protecting this. It's, it has the awareness and that, that, that means your person has the awareness of you both treasuring what you could manifest or what you can manifest in this connection. It almost feels like they're taking care of this connection by being distant. If that makes sense for you guys, it could be, you know, maybe your situation requires them to have a certain distance or cultivate a certain distance with you, even though it's painful. Um, they might feel like that is how they are going to be able to find balance in this connection for themselves even. Um, but overall, this to me feels like they know that you both kind of want a similar thing, or at least they can intuitively perceive and mentally understand that you guys want the same thing, you know, that you're in this together, that you want the same outcome, the same nest, so to speak, to work on. Um, you're both wanting this to manifest. You both want the relationship to manifest. So yeah, there's, there's certainly a, a distance that your person is cultivating right now. So let's see what is the unconscious influence or the foundation here. Please, Spirit, what is the foundation for their person? What wants to show up, please, here? We have the Hierophant. Okay, so the unconscious influence here is the Hierophant. I'm hearing law and order, like specifically, maybe you, you can resonate with that series, some of you. I feel like it's a series. I'm not sure. I never watched it, you guys. But there's a certain feeling of structure here. There's a certain feeling of structure here with the Two of Pentacles as well. But yeah, with the unconscious influence here being the Hierophant. Just going to move it a little bit upper over here like that so that you can maybe see a bit better. The card, um, yeah, it just feels like there's this there's this feeling of law and order that is unconscious for a person. Maybe they need a lot of structure in their life in order to be able to function. Or they need more structure within this relationship to be able to make it function more easily or to be able to like recognize this pattern that keeps repeating for them specifically. Um, this is unconscious, by the way. So I, I want us to kind of remember that as we're diving into the Hierophant energy. So the unconscious elements of this are, as said, your person wanting control, structure. Um, I'm hearing because they might feel ungrounded. 
Um, for some of you, I would maybe suggest looking into your person's chart and seeing how much earth they have in their chart, because it might be that your person doesn't have a lot of earth in their chart, given this is the unconscious influence. Um, so they could struggle with structure, with order, and therefore, you know, just over exert themselves or make themselves have structure and order in in you know their life like they they put it as a priority because they themselves in their chart you know in their being feel ungrounded so if they have low earth they might feel ungrounded and they might just overcompensate by you know going into a lot of structure you know a lot of discipline you know having a routine throughout the day like this this is this 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 you know or having a routine that they follow every single day you know they might have that way of being and they might need a lot of structure a lot of order in their relationships as well which potentially your relationship you know isn't like that it's not bringing out those types of qualities or it's not teaching about the qualities of control um, often, you know, relationships aren't going to teach about control, but like letting go and acceptance and humble experience and things like that. Um, but yeah, this to me feels like your person really loves control um, or needs control, you know, to be able to be at peace with themselves and they could overcompensate. Um, what else? With the Hierophant, there's a feeling of marriage. So the unconscious influence here could be marriage as well. It could be that your person wants commitment with you, but is unconscious of that or doesn't want to recognize that fully, doesn't want to like fully deal with that, which could again lead to repetitive patterns. Um, or it could be even that your person is married or has an issue with marriage, you know, just um, like has an issue with commitment, doesn't want to like you know, settle down with someone or might just have an issue with, you know, getting married to someone. Um, so, you know, all of that could just talk about or parts of that could resonate for you guys. This is a timeless and general reading. So, of course, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Don't like take uh, from the reading if it doesn't resonate. Um, let's see what else wants to show up. Let's see what else. So let's let's look into the past. So how does your person view the past of this connection right now? Let's put it over here and then let's look into the future. Um, so how do they view the past right now? How are they viewing the past here? Okay. Okay, so the past, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this to me feels like this person sees this connection as a slow moving connection as a connection which like for which they have planted seeds which have not yet started to grow so it's like your person has planted seeds for this connection in their life or maybe even in your relationship but these have not yet began to grow you know let me just bring this a little bit closer as we can see over here with the little pentacle bursting open, you know, and starting to grow. It's not yet reaching um, the sunshine. It's not yet reaching um, that pinnacle of, you know, growth being seen by the human eye. So I feel like this person sees like your connection is slow moving. Um, they might be still keeping a lot of things to themselves and that they do want to communicate. But at the same time, I feel like they're tr they're waiting for things to grow they're waiting for the what i'm hearing is quote unquote like ripe time the ripe time the right time as well to be saying some things to you or to be communicating some things to you um let's see the future how does this person how does your person see the future right now this one okay so we have the hanged man wow this one's quite scary as a card the hanged man energy it is reversed so your person like i feel like they perceive the future as them not letting go or them protecting themselves um a little bit still let's let's just clarify this one because it doesn't feel like it's too clear the six of pentacles yeah i feel like they see the future as you guys exchanging energy with each other and being chill and being at peace with each other but there's still like an element here of your person not letting go like 
even in the future, they still see themselves as not letting go of certain things, but they see you guys as being able to have a beautiful, harmonious relationship, have a beautiful give and take with each other. They want to be generous with you or, you know, generous towards you in the future as well. Like they want to give you things or offer things to you. But yeah, with this hanged man, it's just giving this feeling of, ooh, I need to protect myself. Um, almost like this feeling of, yeah, like being maybe standoffish even. It just feels like resisting something. Um, this person could see that in the future they might get still consumed by external matters. There's also like a sense of discomfort here. Um, you know, they could see or perceive that in the future they are still going to be um, feeling like a certain discomfort in their own skin. Um, and I feel like, again, it's this feeling of structure, your person feeling like they may need to or want to fit in, be part of the same crowd. Like there's just this feeling of wanting, wanting to fit in here as the future card. All right. So let's move forward and see what's their attitude and state of mind towards you right now. So what is the attitude of the person, please? That's on the collective's mind. What's the attitude? We have the page of wands. <laughs> cute, cute little salamander energy. So the page of wands, this is um, transformation. So your person is in a state of mind where they might be aware that they want to transform. Um, and are like beginning to seek more excitement in their life or are beginning to seek just more excitement in your connection. Um, with the salamander energy, there's this excitement with the page of wands. You know, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius over here. So there's this excitement like, yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Let's move. Let's go places. Let's explore. There's this feeling of wanting to like explore the situation, wanting to explore the connection um, feeling renewed, um, new vitality potentially showing up for your person here also. And yeah, there's this excitement energy, their attitude and state of mind is, um, bubbling with creative ideas and like, yeah, wanting to be maybe a bit less, uh, restrained in their actions. They're feeling more um, more inspired and more creative, more passionate. Like, yeah, let's let's start something new. Let's go towards that thing, you know, like spontaneous in their energy, wanting to explore life, wanting to explore this connection further. So let's see what else. Let's see what their environment is like right now or how do they perceive the environment around your relationship? Okay, so whoops. Okay, this one wants to show up. Actually, spirit saying no. So let me just let me just settle the energy and see what's the environment. Okay, how do they perceive the environment? Okay, this one wants to show up here. So the emperor reversed. So they perceive the environment in your relationship or around your relationship as non as not structured with the emperor. There's just like this feeling of things are not clear. Um, yeah, like things are, yeah, maybe even too controlled. The emperor can, can speak about lack of clarity, um, things being too controlled as well. Um, and yeah, like just chaotic in the sense of too much order, you know, like maybe too authoritarian even. Um, but in that, you know, that it's it's too restrained. Yeah, I feel like your person is unhappy with that, not happy with the feeling of restriction, potentially in your relationship right now. It just feels like things are quite like stale, you know, like the emperor does speak of order and all that. But the emperor reversed, it's like using force to make something happen, you know, using force to dominate things. Um, or they might perceive the situation as like inflexible, like there are certain obstructions. Um, they might perceive the situation or perceive the environment that could also involve people around you as, um, 
as ego driven, you know, like certain affairs are not put in order. Um, things are not being taken care of, you know, that type of energy where there's excessive control of certain things and inflexibility and certain obstructions, maybe that things aren't moving swimmingly. Um, oops, pardon me. Wow, that was just that was just unnecessary. So it just bumped into the table. Um, yeah, like it it feels like it's that type of energy where things are things are just not like to this person's liking. Even though they do like control and the, all that, but just feels like here they want to like they want to be more exploratory. And this could also talk of conflict in your person, like the inside outside conflict is also like the internal conflict. Um, so your person, if it, they feel like they're not satisfied with the, with the inflexibility, let's say, because they do want to explore. So this to me definitely feels like it's very much an internal conflict that your person is facing within themselves and they're trying to kind of resolve within themselves. Like a part of them wanting, you know, order and dominate and, you know, just have excessive control. There's another part of them that's maybe, you know, more of an inner child energy that's like, oh, let's explore this. Let's feel this out. Let's see what that's like, you know. Um, and that's like the conflict that they are facing right now. So let's see. Hopes and fears. What are the hopes and fears of this person? So the Knight of Pentacles, <laughs> so cool. All right, so the hopes and fears here of are things moving forward and things moving forward slowly. Um, there being an element of duty here as well um, that your person could be afraid of, but also like slow and steady energy. It's It's interesting, it feels like that's, simultaneously something that they're hoping for they're hoping for things to move forward slowly gently tenderly you know in a grounded way um and just feels like okay slowly slow and steady you know baby steps forward at the same time this feels like it's a fear of your person they are afraid to have something grounded and stable with you they're afraid of that it triggers them it triggers something within them it's, it triggers something that needs healing inside of them. The feeling of, okay, shit, I'm going to be together with this person in a stable, grounded way. It triggers something in them, um, like a certain wound. And that's what they're afraid of. Um, that's what they're afraid of diving into. And that's why like there's a fear of connecting to you more deeply or there's a fear of intimacy even potentially. Um here and there's that's because there's that is also why there's a certain distance here your person wants to like quote unquote be wise about this and have distance and have an observer perspective and have better awareness and all that you know um but at the same time they're super excited about things moving forward because they are curious about you and they want things with you it's just like this this deep polarity inside of this person um, that's showing up here, you know, like on one side, they want things with you and they want things to go places. They want commitment and they want things to move to towards the connection, commitment slowly. And then there's a part of them that's like super triggered by you, triggered by the commitment and triggered by being with you and triggered by having to look at these parts of themselves, even who might be getting triggered through your relationship. So what is the outcome that your person sees right now? What's the potential outcome that they're looking forward to? Or what's the outcome that they're seeing? Let's just ask it simply. What's the outcome that they're seeing in this connection right now? The Queen of Wands. Okay, so joy. Uh, what I'm hearing is like prosperity. Um, moving through difficulty. Moving through um, pain. We have Nine of Swords on the bottom, which is incredible and lovely energy you know it's just like let's move forward let's move through the pain um let's not bring ourselves unnecessary suffering is what's showing up here um as the message that your person wants to give like let's land in joy let's be in peace let's 
it's, it's just like a state of being, you know, your person's outcome, what they're hoping for, what they're wanting, what they're seeing even, um, is a state of being with you and what you are able to be together in a state of peace, love, serenity, um, joy, you know, playfulness, happiness, just being able to cultivate and uh, cultivate fun together and have fun and enjoy each other's company and be confident in who you are and feel empowered. That's what they're wanting. That's what they want to cultivate. Now, I do want to just mention one more thing here. We have three, we have three um, court cards here. We also do have like this major arcana here, which talks about potentially, you know, the, the strong energy. It could also talk about a person. So with all these like clustered in here, it just feels to me that like this person could be um, involved with a lot of people, you know, this could be a third party situation or they could have children even, you know, it just feels like there's stuff here. They, there are people around them. They could even have a big family or there's just, you know, other people around them. There could also be other people around you here because we do have like court cards, which talk about people and there are a lot of people right now present in this, um, in this connection. Right. So it could be that that is also something to take into account in your connection. or That's something that your person is trying to take into account in your relationship, trying to kind of, you know, have mindfulness about um, or just, you know, this observer's perspective about the people that are also like connected to the two of you. The fact that it does not involve just the two of you. Um, for some of you, it could involve your family or it could involve your person's family right now as well. Okay, so in terms of signs, we have Taurus energy. We have a lot of water here with the hanged man, so quite emotional energy. We have Jupiter. Um, what else? We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Queen of Wands, with the Page of Wands. And we have Taurus and Capricorn and Virgo over here with the Knight of Pentacles. And also like, again, Aries with the Emperor. So quite strong fire and earth energy showing up here. So let's just see what are the messages from your person. Let's get a couple of messages from them. Let's see what they want to say for now. And then just let's get you guidance as well. So let's see you guys for group, uh, for group, no, for the collective as a group. Uh, let's see, I'm not good at expressing myself emotionally is what wants to be conveyed. Let's see what else, what do they wanna say? I can see what I did wrong. So if your person has wronged you in some sense, they can see that you have really changed me. So you have really changed this person. I feel like you helped them grow. You help them see things differently. Um, and they're quite grateful for that, even though it does trigger them. You know, this person is still grateful that you help them see a lot. Um, that you help them see things from a different perspective, that you trigger them. And in that trigger, you help them see things in a different light. I'm dealing with a lot right now. So they could be dealing with a lot. They could be, again, just trying to find some type of balance in their life right now. Um, you know, they could be going through external issues, issues with external matters. I need to touch you again. So if they really want to touch you again, or yeah, they, they want potentially you to touch them again. Like what I'm hearing is touch me on my shoulder, like touch me on my arm, touch my arm, like passingly. It means a lot. Uh, like your person really notices that. Um, I regret what I did not do. So they're also regretting something or some things that they didn't do. Some things that I feel like you would have wanted them to do. Or something you thought they would have done, they didn't do. Let's just take three more. Let's make up babies. So they definitely want to get back together or just... They want to see you again. They want to meet up again. I want to look good for you. Yeah, your person might even be working out right now. Or they are just trying to, what I'm hearing is have their shit together when they are, you know, dealing with you and they're connecting to you. And we have, I want to talk to you. So yeah, that definitely feels like, you know, they want to look good. They want to make up with you and they are trying to like get their stuff in order in their life to be able to connect to you. We also have, I regret what I did not, what I did do here, as well as I did not do. So I feel like your person does have like quite a lot of regrets here in this connection. And on the bottom here, we have uh, um, how I act is so different from how I feel on the inside. So there is that type of imbalance here that your person definitely has um, on the external and the internal level. 
um, just a lack of alignment with the external and the internal world. Okay, dog. So let's see now what is the guidance for you guys. So let's see what is the guidance for um, the people watching this, please, Perret. So what is the guidance for them right now? Um, so we have honor your feelings for Squatter Moon and Pisces. What I'm hearing is your feelings are valid. Honor your feelings when it comes to this person. Honor your feelings when it comes to this connection and go for it. So new moon in Aries, <laughs> go for it. Go for what you want. You know, if you want something here in this connection, if you know that something there, that there is something you need here, that you need some type of connection or some type of communication, go for it right now, you know, go for it. Bring that passion, bring that empowerment, bring that confidence and like go for it. Go for what you desire, but also think it through, you know, don't just act without thinking. New Moon and Gemini, think it through as you are acting, as you are doing, do think it through, but go for it and honor your feelings through all of this. Now, okay, on the bottom, we have release control for Squatter Moon and Taurus. So... I'm just going to put it over here. If, you know, any of you just might need a reminder. So let's just take two, three cards from this deck and then let's finish this off. So we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Um, also, like this is just a reminder for you guys to go on holiday or go on a trip if you feel like you want to like have a little bit of a break or if you feel like you need a bit of a break, just go on a trip, like chill out a little bit. We have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your pa parents and as you deal with, you know, any triggers that your family might be bringing up in your surroundings, in your situation right now. So this is something to keep in mind. You know, our relationships are just a mirror of, you know, our growing up relationships and how we learned to interact with the world. And that's where the triggers often come from. So if you're, you know, struggling with triggers when it comes to this person, like try to look into your family life, try to solve some things because resolving those patterns is going to resolve the pattern with your person as well. It's quite magical in that way. And let's see, we have reconciliation here as well, showing up for you guys. So someone from your past is returning to your life. This person is returning to your life, right? Um, for those of you who do not want your person to return to your life, on the bottom here, we also have new love. A new person has stirred or is about to stir your romantic feelings here. We also have release your ex here. If any of you like resonate with this card, with the new love card, it's time to also work on releasing your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, right? So it's like the energy is saying like, okay, if you want this person back, they are coming back. If you don't want this person back, work on releasing your ex so that new love can meet you and new love can come into your life to bless you. Okie doke. You guys, thank you for tuning in. This is where I'm going to leave you all. Thank you for connecting and sharing your energy with me through this reading today. Um, if you want to book a personal tarot reading, check out the Etsy shop. The link is down below. And thank you so much for connecting. Check out 18 plus tarot readings on Patreon if you want to get more of an erotic vibe out of my readings. And yeah, everything is listed down below. All my socials are also listed down below. All my love and blessings and see you guys soon in the next one. Thank you all for liking, for subscribing and for commenting down below and for supporting me and my work. It really means a great deal. Blessings and see you soon. Bye. Namaste.